Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson of T's reading practice. And in this lesson, we're going to look at events in a sequence and the practice of recognizing those events in the correct sequence or chronology. So these are the learning objectives. You need to understand the concept of sequence and hopefully everybody can do that because in the previous lesson where we had to follow a given set of uh, directions, we kind of practice a little bit, right, of identifying the different steps in the procedure in the correct sequence. And second, you need to be able to locate the words or phrases that indicate the um, sequence of events, right? Things like first, second, third, last. And finally, you need to be able to identify language that indicates time. So sometimes there's an overlap, right, between the um, words that indicate sequential order or the words that indicate time. So words that indicate time are things like today or tomorrow, two years later, um, since last week. Um, basically, you're looking for words um, similar to those. Here are some of the common questions that you may see. For example, which words or phrases from the passage indicate sequential order? Which phrase appears to be out of the sequence? which is the correct sequence of a specific event or action you know, that's mentioned in the paragraph. Now, of course, those questions may be a little bit different on the actual test, right? Things may be more specific um, about the details in the paragraph. Okay, so I found a very good source that um, provided a list of uh, the common words or phrases that we use to indicate sequential order. So you can see there's a before, uh, so that includes words like a previously, you know, formally, um, earlier, or phrases like uh, in the past, prior to, uh, last time, right? Um, and then you can see there are some other co columns, uh, words, phrases that indicate what happens first. That could be, you know, to begin with, initially, um, at the onset, right, at the beginning. And then what happens next, after something, or following, or soon after, then, right, subsequently, and then for things that happen last, finally, in conclusion, in the end, to finish. Right? So you can uh, kind of go through these words and phrases, kind of get familiar with, with what they mean so that you can recognize them when you read a paragraph. So these are the words and phrases that indicate time. Now, like I said, there can be some uh, overlap, right, between words for a sequence and words and you know, phrases for a chronology. So you can you know, look through this list real quick and again, make yourself familiar with what words or phrases you're looking for. All right, so here is a paragraph that you need to read and answer the questions. I only have three questions. It's two on this slide, one on the other slide. So pause the video now, get your answers and then resume the video. Okay. All right, I assume everybody has selected answers. So this paragraph is about how to become a pathologist. Right? This can be a very fun job for many students. Now, there is no pathology degree, so there's not a specific degree for that. Instead, all the students have to go to the medical school. They have to first become a medical doctor. And then after that, they can complete a three-year residency in pathology. And the following that, they need to be certified by the American Board of Pathology. So that's the three steps to become a pathologist. Now, you may notice that before a student can go to medical school, the student has to have a bachelor's of science, right? So that means really there are four steps. You have to obtain a BS from college, and then go to medical school to become a medical doctor, complete a, at least a three-year residency in pathology, and then certified by the American Board of Pathology. All right, so that's the correct sequence of become a pathologist. So question one, which word or phrase from the passage above indicates sequential order? The correct answer is A, right, start with. Now, in order to, that just indicates uh, a purpose or, or objective, right? 
graduating from, that has nothing to do with sequence, right? It just really kind of indicates which school a student uh, graduated from. Three years, this indicates how long the residency is, right? It's about time, but it's not really about sequence. Question two, which word or phrase from the passage above indicate chronological order? So which one is the correct answer? Hopefully you have selected B, right? This is after graduating from medical school, which takes about four years. So it's kind of equivalent to saying after four years, then the doctor has to complete a residency in pathology. And the from, it really, it, it's not about time, right? It's really just about where you get the degree from, or where you graduate from. The last question, you can pause the video now. All right. Question three, how long does it typically take for someone from starting in medical school and to become a board certified pathologist? So in order to answer this question correctly, you need to know the correct sequence of events, right? And then how long each sequence takes. So from medical school, that's four year, and then become a certified pathologist, you have to complete a, at least a three year residency. So that's about seven years and some change, right? So the correct answer is seven years. Now, if you have selected, selected 11 years, that means you have added the four years from bachelor's degree. And that's not what the question is asking for, right? The question only includes the length or the time length from medical school to becoming certified. So that's a total of seven years. All right, this is a very short lesson. So this is the reference where, the, where I got the paragraph. I did modify the paragraph a little bit to kind of make it similar to the paragraphs that you would see on T's. Also, I could design questions around the paragraph. So, so again, if the video helps you, please subscribe, like the video, comment, and share the video. Thank you, guys. I'll see you next time.